So we're doing good. And uh, for those that are new on board, my name is Kerry Miller, and I am the trainer here at Instant App Wizard. Been here about three years. Uh, just absolutely love it. And uh, it's just fun as can be. I love coming here um, every single week and doing this on Wednesday nights. I love being with you guys and love doing what we do. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. Looks like we got a full house this evening. Good to see everybody. It's always a pleasure. Uh, we're going to get started with our little housekeeping here we got. Uh, if you have not joined our YouTube channel, join our YouTube channel at YouTube dot com forward slash instant app wizard that's youtube.com forward slash instant app wizard and like us on our facebook page uh, at facebook.com forward slash instant app wizard and also if you have not done so if you would right now pick up your phones and we go to instant app wizard.com forward slash training that's instant app wizard.com forward slash training and text seven uh, text app call a p p c a l l to seven two seven four seven eight one three four three that's seven two seven four seven eight one three four three app call a p p c a l l and what will happen is is you will have the privilege and opportunity of getting a text email i mean a text to you at approximately uh i don't know a quarter till or something like that and we'll send that out to you, and uh, you'll be reminded to come to Instant App Wizard Training. And uh, you'd be amazed at the number of people that uh, message me and say, Hey, uh, when's training? <laughs> Sign up for the message there. And also, sometimes, every now and then, I'll get caught on the road or something, and, and we're unable to do the training. So uh, you'll want to make sure that you sign up for that. And if you have not signed up for our Facebook group, sign up at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash instant app wizard. I want to thank Ryan Fristo. He messaged me this week and said, Carrie, I think we got a couple of spammers in there, somebody advertising for dogs and somebody advertising for some other things. Ryan, I appreciate it. Uh, I went in immediately and uh, we moved them on out. And so, and it doesn't matter if uh, who you are, what you are, or what you're doing. Uh, if you're going to spam, uh, you know, there's one thing to call us up and say, hey, I've got this great idea or great tool I'd like you to look at. Uh, there's another thing, advertising for every, anything that has nothing to do with Instant App Wizard or with uh, what we do in that group. So, But if you ever have anything like that, feel free to just send me an email and say, Carrie, I'd like to show everybody this. Take a look at it. And if you like it, we'll do it. If not, we won't. But uh, we don't have a problem with that. But we want to make sure that if you're advertising for uh, every other company out there other than anything that has anything to do with mobile, uh, you're not going to stay in the group. And that's just the way it is. And, and I want to thank Ryan Fristo for being vigilant and bringing that to my attention and saying, hey, Carrie, uh, we got somebody in there that's posting stuff, uh, you know, to, uh, that's not supposed to be there. I want to talk about building a sales force tonight, and we're going to just, this is going to be freelance, okay? This is, I've had a, but several calls this week from resellers. As a matter of fact, I was speaking to Canada uh, just this, I think it was this morning. It might have been yesterday morning. I think it was this morning. And uh, so, so a reseller up in Canada, and I spoke to several of you through email. And uh, so I want to make sure uh, that we can all get on the same page with the sales force what a sales force is, what I'm doing with a sales force. Uh, sales forces are great. Uh, I, I, I love them because they can duplicate what you do and you can make money with a sales force. And uh, so uh, just just uh, let's talk about it tonight. How many of you on here right now? I don't know what digital... WH to digital service cards at happened. I don't know what you're asking, Tom, or what happened to digital service cards. I'm I'm confused. Oh, we're going to continue on digital service cards. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to get back on that next week. Uh, 
I would be like specific information about how you charge the client with remote salespeople and how you pay the salesperson. Also, what you provide them to demo it. Okay, hey, that's a good question. So let's get right into this. I want you guys to ask me questions. And I'm going to tell you uh, what we do, how we do it, and, and so forth, uh, and what we look at, and, and the whole shebang. Uh, one thing we do when we talk about a sales force and uh, how we build a sales force, uh, we're very selective, okay? The nitty-gritty, all right? We're very selective when we when we hire a sales force and what we do. First off, uh, they have to be someone that I feel like I can trust, and that's something that uh, is extremely important to me. How it works, you know, I've got a good feel for people. Uh, I know pretty much when somebody BSs me and when they don't, and uh, what they do and how they do it and when they're doing it and so forth. So we want to make sure. How do you know that you can trust them? It's a gut feeling with me. Uh, I'm going to tell you, people that you can't trust, you can tell in about five minutes. When they start BSing me and telling me how great they are, uh, how many sales they're going to make, and what an awesome salesperson they are, and uh, you pretty much know they're full of crap, okay? And uh, I always get references. I, wanna, I, I do the whole nine yards. I want references. I want to be able to call people and say, hey, what do you think of this guy? Is he, can he sell? You know, unfortunately, in today's environment with the government regulations, uh, when you call on a reference anymore, they can pretty much say, well, uh, he worked here. That, that's pretty much it. So, and, and with that fact, uh, uh, and I'll get to that next, and uh, with that fact, uh, you know, if, if you can get a good response from somebody, usually somebody says, oh, yeah, they were great, and they worked here. Or if they say, well, yeah, they worked here. You, you can pretty much read that pretty clear. I mean, that's, <laughs> you know, you can pretty much tell by the response when you do do that. Uh, no, uh, that's a good question, Randy, and I'll get to that too. Uh, but anyway, so that's the first thing I do. I, I screen them pretty well, and I get references, and I want to know who they are, where they work for. Believe it or not, I'm very fortunate the sales reps we have now are friends of a sales rep. So it works out very, very, very good. Uh, yeah, you can ask if they would rehire them. You sure can. And let me tell you something. If they say no, then you'd better run to the hills. You, you're absolutely right, Gary. You can ask if they would rehire them. And that's a yes or no question. They cannot go into detail legally. Believe it or not, some of these folks go into extreme detail when you ask about Joe and, uh, and so forth. So, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty clear uh, what happens there, but um, so it's pretty clear uh, what happens there. So, but uh, are there legal legal considerations when you ha have someone sell on your behalf? Must they be speaking? I have zero employees. Okay, I don't like employees. I don't want employees. Uh, I don't hire employees. Uh, you have to pay employees. You have to get insurance for employees. You just have to do a bunch of things. Every sales rep I hire is a 1099 commission sales rep. So, uh, with that said, I don't. There is no consideration. I, I talked about that before. Uh, I do not hire an employee. Everybody is under contract. They're under legal contract, and uh, so no, there is absolutely no employee side to what I do. Uh, I do have a contract, and I've said this before. I highly recommend if you have an attorney or need an attorney, uh, go find an attorney and have them write your contract for you, and uh, that's extremely important. Uh, <clears throat> I hope that answered you. Randy, did I answer that question in depth enough, or I'd be more than happy. Uh, this is open open forum tonight, and, and I know you guys, uh, trust me, I know where you're at as far as these sales reps go. So just let me know, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of that. If that did that answer your question, Randy? Can everybody hear me? I think Randy must have went to the hills when I said don't hire any employees. Can everybody hear me? Hello, hello. Okay, okay. All right. That was a time delay. 
Uh, Kenny says, I worry about them running off with the money. Hence the question about how you charge the customer and pay the salesperson. That's a tough one because I can tell you that can always happen. Uh, hence, that goes back to you've got to know your sales rep. Uh, there are legal ramifications if you do that. Uh, I have had a sales rep uh, take some money. And the reason I know that is because the uh, customer called and said, hey, where's my app? Uh, fortunately, it only happened on a couple apps. Uh, you'll know real quick. Trust me, you will know real quick if something's up. Uh, I ask my salespeople every day, uh, what would you do today? How many sales did you make? Uh, so, uh, you know, I know what their track record is. You, you'll, you'll establish that extremely quick, and uh, you, you'll see that. But does that can that happen? Absolutely, it can happen. I've got a I've got a form set up uh, where they submit all the data and they submit a PayPal link straight to me. Uh, no, I will not send a copy of my contract. You need to go to your own attorney and get them to draw up a contract. Sorry, it's just I I don't want any you know. Uh, some people have a tendency to just use what I send, and it's probably not legal where you're at. So, and the only reason I do that is I, I won't do that is because because of that reason. You really need to go to your attorney and get them to draw up the contract. Next question. Let me see here. A bunch of them flew by when I said, "Can everybody hear me?" Somebody said they don't see anything in chat. I don't have a clue what you're talking about, David. I don't talk in chat. People ask questions in chat. Oh, there that, that was a good question. Uh, somebody asked about demo apps. I, I don't build demo apps. Uh, built over 300 apps. We pretty much know what the market is. And uh, we've got enough apps to where we don't have to build a demo app. If you have not, if you don't have anything done or if you're not uh, sending any things, you're not going to see the questions, David. You're going to hear me tell you what the question is. But uh, uh, broke my train of thought there. Oh, yeah, apps. I mean, build a couple of demo apps. Go out and find your couple of customers and build the apps before you go in there and see them. But it doesn't take long. I mean, I, I don't do anything special. What you guys see me do when I build those apps with the name and the, the business information and, and all that stuff, what you'll see happen is, is uh, that's my app, and that's what I send take out there, and that's what people see. So there's nothing special, no, no firecrackers or fireworks or anything like that. Uh, you get rid of them. You know? You pick up the phone and tell them they no longer work for you. You know, believe it or not, uh, Kenny, it's... <laughs> Uh, you, you cancel their contract. I mean, uh, Kenny, somebody, I could go out right now and sell apps for Kenny Dutton and tell people I'm selling apps for Kenny Dutton. And uh, there's nothing you can do about it until I get caught. Absolutely nothing. Let me close my email. Uh, there's, there's nothing that you can do about that. I'm going to have to do something here real quick, guys. Give me one second. I hit a button and everything disappeared on me. And I don't know how to... There it is. Okay. You cancel their contract. If they're under contract, they're an independent contractor. Uh, you can have your attorney send them a letter. It usually costs about 100 bucks. Or you send them a letter of uh, departure. Uh, that's why I say you need to talk to your attorney about that. What do I provide the salesperson with? The demo? I, I provide him with a app. I build a sales rep app. Okay. Give me two seconds here and I'll pull one up for you. Uh, by the way, I don't know if anybody downloaded that little program that was, I can't remember who, who said it. They said it was kind of like fireworks in the, uh, um,
in the group. I, I downloaded it and it froze my computer up and it kept giving uh, JavaScript errors. So it didn't work for me. If it works for you, great. But it just didn't work for me very well. Yeah, it, it, I didn't like it. I'll I tell you what, uh, I'm a fireworks person. I've had that program. You can still buy it. Uh, I guess some people don't like it, but that's what I use, and that's what I that's that's what I use. I'm not going to change. I just tried that program to uh, to say, hey guys, this is a good program. I, I couldn't get it to work. Hang on, I got to sign in real quick. But grading concept, I, I'll be honest with you, I do not like any type of browser-based programs. At all. This is a sales rep app. Okay, and I've got demos on here. I've got a bridal shop, I've got an auto store, I've got an audio and a chiropractor right on his app. Can everybody see that okay? And what I do is I link the, uh, I link the uh, demos right on here. This is a bridal shop. Just to highlight what we do. And as new apps come in, we, we change these up. And here's an auto place. Kind of give them some diversity. But you want to build them an app and make it a nice app. Okay. This is Armando's Auto Shop. Uh, we've got an audio place on here. It's, I guess it's a good thing you can see this. It's kind of diverse. You can see the diversity in what we do. I mean, there's not, we don't hit a, a specific niche. If it's a business, we hit it. Okay. And the last one here. Yes, the sign-up form is tied to PayPal. It is tied to PayPal. And this is a chiropractor. <clears throat> no, it's not on the demo app. Let me see. I'm going to freeze. Hang on just one second. I'm going to freeze this screen right here. And I'm going to see if I can find that for you, Kenny. So you, I will let y'all see that. I'm going to pause that right there. Give me one second. I'm just going into some personal data here, and I just don't want you guys to, to see it. It's all about that bass, about that bass, not that treble. You know that BK? Do you know that song, BK? BK's my uh, my resident. <laughs> hey, that's a good song, isn't it, buddy? I like that. It's all about that bass, about that bass, not that treble. Uh, give me one second here, guys. I'm trying to find this for Kitty, and I know y'all all want to see it. Yeah, gee, there it is. Uh, do, 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 do. all about that bass. It's one of my favorite songs, buddy. That's that's a new one out. All about that bass. You guys need to get up, get up on that. Mm. Kenny, I knew you was gonna ask that question. I should have had that out here, buddy. Cause it's all about that bass. Uh, here we go. 
I will show you all this. This is the instructions. No, that's one of my sales reps apps. Okay, let me go ahead and restart this over here. Let me, well, this is a pain in the butt using one computer. I can tell you that right now. I mean, using a uh, no monitor. Let me make sure it switches over. Okay. This is, this is what I have. They've got full instructions exactly how to fill out the form. Okay. And on this form, and I'll go ahead and go over there. And, I, and I've told you all this about a hundred times. So you can, uh, I, don't know, I don't know if you can tie this specific form to an authorized account. Uh, this specific form is made for uh, PayPal, okay? That's right. It, ain't, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. You're right, brother. Now, this is, what I've got is the IR email, okay, uh, their ID number, their business name, their phone number, and these are required, okay, uh, fax number, client email, website URL, hours of operation, address, city, state, zip, additional comments, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, and right here, they can, they click on this button, Okay, check out for payment. Payment will be through PayPal. And this is for the setup, okay? This is for the setup. It's 49 bucks, and they pay me They pay me to build the app, okay, is what they're doing. They're an independent contractor. They click that. They click browse, and they, they scan their business card or whatever their logo is. They click browse, and then they hit submit. It automatically submits payment to me. It automatically submits this information to me, and it automatically submits the, uh, the file to me. And uh, I'll find out what this program is. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, it's very inexpensive. It's, a, it's actually a WordPress plugin. Uh, I made this right here in a program that I'm just talking about. It's a WordPress plugin. And uh, it's, very, it's a form maker. And you can tie your PayPal into it. You automatically browse and upload the file and everything. And uh, I'll find out what the name of it is. I can't remember. But it is a PayPal, play, PayPal plugin. No, it's not contact seven or jot form. No. But I, I'll find out. I, I can't remember. And I'll put that in the group. Uh, the background from the chiropractor's app actually came from the chiropractor's website. I don't get the other 49. That goes to the uh, sales rep. He collects the money. And he pays me a set. He pays me a setup fee. And then in the contract, when they renew, I make I make part of that too. Okay, they get they get so much, and I get so much. But this form is very, 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 very simple to set up. Okay. No, the rep does not send the customer to the URL. The, the, the rep fills this out. This is not for the customer to fill out. He's got a form that's got all this information on it, and they write it down, and then they go in and they, they type it in and send it to me. If there is a mistake and they come back, it's 10 bucks to me. It costs them 10 bucks for me to correct their mistake. There is no monthly charge on the digital business card. We get all the money up front. Now, if you're selling full apps, that's a different story. Digital business cards are totally different. Next question. Our ID number, independent rep ID, yes, sir, independent rep ID. And, and you saw that, you make that up. Because I turn off the app if I don't get it. 
And guess what? If somebody calls me and says, hey, I paid a renewal, then I go talk to the sales rep. I don't know if you guys have ever run a business or not with sales reps. Independent sales reps, that's not a new thing in this country. Matter of fact, the highest paid people in the world are independent sales reps. Independent sales reps want to be independent sales reps. When the guy comes to you and says, oh, well, I need a, I need a, a, a draw and I need this, an independent sales rep, they don't know how to make money. So you'll know real quick what an independent sales rep is, trust me. If somebody tells you they need money up front, they're not an independent sales rep because they don't know how to make money. I don't give draws. I don't do any of that. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know. <laughs> I can't believe you did either. Next question. Yeah, BK says he fired a guy that asked for a draw. I don't pay draws either, and if you don't want to work for me and not take a draw, then you need to go work somewhere else because I'm not going to give you a draw because that means you're a lazy butt and you're not out working. That's the bottom line. And, and trust me, you don't want people that won't work. There's, they're, they're everywhere. <laughs> there's a ton. Of, there's millions of people that don't want to work. There you go. For, it's called Form Maker. Thank you, uh, Is that the one I'm using, Woodrow? Form maker? It, it may be. Yeah, if that says it in the source code, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So should I remind you to get the PayPal plugin? Oops, form maker, is that a PayPal plug? No, it's not a PayPal plugin, it's a WP plugin. Woodrow looked in my back in the back of that page. And it says form maker. So it's not a WordPress store. It may be at WordPress.org, but they may have the free download. But I bought the professional version. The free download couldn't do some things, and that's why I bought the professional. It's only like 39 bucks or something, 49 bucks or something. It's WordPress.org. Let me see if I can type this in. I can't type, guys. WordPress. If it's spelled wrong, blame blame somebody else. Uh, forward slash. Okay, everybody don't need to keep sending that to me. I got it here. I, I, I bet I've got that 57 times now. Matter of fact, I don't even know why I'm typing it. Hell, y'all are telling me what it is. Hang on just one second. WP WordPress.org forward slash plugins forward slash F O R M. <laughs> I'll never use just a, a, a laptop again to do this. Forum slash. Okay, here you go. I'm going to send this to everybody. There you go. Y'all can find it there. Anyway, it's called Form Maker. Yeah, you can do a landing page with the form and buy now button. You could do that. It's, that's basically all that is. I mean, you got to put a bunch of stuff in there. But um, so, next question. Hey, let me go back here because I know I missed some questions. Uh, did I answer this question? How do I make sure I get half the renewal? It's not half the renewal, but I, I, it's in my contract. Everything you want that sales rep to do, you need to put it in your contract. That's, that's zero, zero question, okay? Because it's all about that base, guys. It's all about that base. Now I can show you something I'm doing. As a matter of fact, I was building this, waiting on training tonight. Uh, yes, it's up to the salesperson to get the renewal. If he wants to get paid, he's going to get the renewal. Absolutely. 
Does everybody understand that? Comprehend that? Comprendo, comprendo, comprendo. These are sales reps, all right? Yeah, he better get it. I mean, if he wants to, listen, guys, sales reps that are out making money, trust me, they understand residual income. They're going to make sure that they get that residual income. I can promise you, if they've sold uh, a thousand apps and they're going to make, uh, you know, $39 off of every app next year, uh, that's a lot of money. So, so trust me, they're going to follow up with their people. We're not talking fly-by-nights. And number one, a guy that's out there selling one app a month, you don't need him. He's more pain, pain in the ass than he's worth. That's what I'm fixing to show you right now, James. I'm glad you asked that question, buddy. I'm fixing to launch a campaign this week, as a matter of fact. I was very successful. I'll go ahead and tell you. I was very successful when I had my roofing company. Uh, recruiting sales reps through uh, Craigslist. And I could recruit them anywhere I went or no matter what I did, anywhere, any place I was at. Okay? And uh, so I'm fixing to try the same thing. I tried doing that when I first got started with Instant App Wizard three years ago. Craigslist blacklisted me and shut me down. And uh, But I'm going at it a, a, a little different way now. Uh, so hang on just one second. A little different way now. I'm actually building a splash page, okay? Uh, basically a sales page. All right, and I'm building a video, and I, I just started on it, so you're going to see here uh, that, that it's not complete. But I'll kind of show you what it's going to look like here. Maybe you can see it. Hang on just one second. You're not going to hear the sound. It's got some sounds on it. Uh, let me go back to the beginning. Uh, because my my content was not correct. Yeah, it's 25 bucks to, to send, to sell. So anyway, uh, you can kind of, hopefully you can see on the screen there, this is what it's going to look like. And it's going to have some, it's going to have some text with it. And so far, I mean, some, uh, some music in the background. And that's about as far as I got, but I'll have this finished tomorrow. And I'll, when I make the video, I'll post the video, and you guys can see the video, okay? But uh, basically, they're going to click on a link, and, and, and really, it's just a, a watered-down process to where I can uh, uh, – uh, yeah, where does that say that at? I go back and edit everything. Yeah, sell. So I'll fix that. I go back and add, edit everything. Yeah, you can make it in Video Maker FX or whatever. <laughs> Good. I'm glad I'm inspiring somebody tonight. But anyway, so this is going to be a Craigslist ad. I was very successful on Craigslist before, and I just want to try. I basically want to weed people out, and that's the reason I'm going to do a video splash page. And what they'll do is they'll put their name and phone number in there. Uh, this is going to be about a minute, minute and a half video, and I'm going to put that up, and I'm going to advertise for sales reps. And uh, uh, we'll see how it works out. And uh, I sent out a little uh, JVZoo thing uh, about two weeks ago. It takes about 30 seconds to set up. Uh, it, and that's what I'm going to use. I, I bought that specifically for Craigslist ads. And uh, because I, you can literally put 50 of these things out in about 20 minutes with that little deal. And uh, all it does is build your little splash page. And you're able to click, collect the information. And it goes into a, a database on your computer. Uh, yeah, you can when I get it done tomorrow, Kenny. I'll put, post that in a Facebook group. You'll be able to see it for sure. But this is going to be my Craigslist ad, and that's going out this week. And, uh, yes, you can attach a video URL to the Craigslist ad, absolutely. But I'm not going to attach a video URL. I'm going to attach a URL to my website that this sales page is set up on. This will be inside a lead generation page, basically. 
and uh, that's what they'll click on and they'll be able to put in their name and phone number and we will gather that information everybody comprende what does comprende mean hell I've said that 15 times and I heard somebody say it on the elevator today comprehend I think what program am I using for this uh, hang on a second I'll, t I'll, I'll show it to you maybe oh, are you talking about to build my ad are you talking about to build this ad right here uh, is it Gary? Yeah, Gary. Are you talking about to build my ad? I mean, my video. Yeah. Okay. This is a uh, this is uh, PowerPoint. It, it's a PowerPoint. All it is is a PowerPoint presentation, and I'll turn it into a video. So you are prepared to pay twenty five dollars per ad? Absolutely, I'm prepared to pay twenty five dollars per ad. Why wouldn't I be? Any idea what it costs to advertise in a newspaper? I used to spend about $20,000 a year on ads for sales reps. Yeah, 85 bucks in a newspaper, Nat, you're right. So 25 bucks is cheap, and, and Craigslist has a huge following. And you'd be amazed at the number of people that go to Craigslist to look for jobs. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's twenty-five bucks. That's when I got kicked out, Tom. When I posted under <laughs> under free ads, that's what I got kicked out for. This is not a free ad, and they will make sure that you know that real quick. Yeah, some cities you can post in the job section for free. Some you can. Very, very, very few. Yes, Craigslist does have the ability to post a QR code. They absolutely do. Uh, I put out a video a while back, and I don't have to find it. I put out a video how you can actually put a uh, YouTube video inside Craigslist. College students? I don't know, man. <laughs> Nothing against college students, but they're here today and gone tomorrow. Most of them don't finish their freshman year, and uh, most of them definitely don't finish their sophomore year. By the time the junior year rolls around, all those guys are weeded out in the real People that are studying that don't have time to go sell ads. You know, they're delivering pizzas till midnight just so they can eat. So <clears throat> only about 30% of the people that start college finish college. So, and I know that because I was a recruiter for years. But I, I, I'm, I'm not a big college student uh, recruiting fan. Nothing against them. They're just not, they're just not what you're looking for. You're looking for, for, for a professional sales reps I'll tell you a story we were talking about sales reps a while ago I hired a sales rep in, in uh, Wasilla Alaska and I talk about her all the time uh, yeah or, or that's right go and check on the resumes on Craigslist I mean hell there's a million of them but I hired to rep up in Alaska, and she her her idea of selling these and my idea of selling them were a couple of different things, and and she found out that my idea was actually better than her idea, and uh, she turned in seven apps last night. You know, and, I mean she she she's on fire. I have three right now. I average anywhere from three to ten. <laughs> Comprende there, Chris? Yes, uh, per day. Per day. I built 12 apps, I think, yesterday or something like that. I can build four apps an hour if I don't get, um, if I get a phone call that screws it up. I mean, if I'm just building apps, I can build four apps an hour. And the reason I can do that, let me show you real quick. I showed you that form. Let me show you how simple this is. Let me pull my email up, and I normally don't do this. My honey-do list, when it comes to apps, goes out the window, my friend. There is no honey-do list except building apps. Uh, hang on just one second. 
Yeah, yeah, I'll show you what the submission form looks like. Now, let me let me show you the whole gamut here. Hang on just one second, all right? Okay, right here, you get your submission form, okay? And this is that form that I just showed you guys. Can everybody see that? Now, this is in the exact order in which you put this into your control panel. This, this is in the exact order. Yes, they sell them and I build them. Absolutely. Every one of them is custom done. Uh, they submit the information and I can go right down here, click, uh, point and click, and just drop it in. Okay. Uh, down here, they've got additional comments. Okay. Like here, she told me their website's password protected. Go ahead and do it. Pull the logo off the card attached. Thanks again. And you can see here, she attached a business card. Let me go ahead and open that up real quick. And this attaches for you. Okay. And I'll come in here and I cut out what I need and I make the logo. All right. It takes me about two minutes. They put their Facebook and their Twitter on here. They wanted Facebook and Twitter. And they give me comments on exactly what they want to do. Okay. And, and this is very simple. And this is from that form maker. Uh, and I appreciate Woodrow going in there and finding that for me. Uh, form, F-O-R-M dash M-A-K-E-R. It's a WordPress plugin. And uh, But that's how they do it. And now her ID number, this is the way we do ID numbers. It's their, it's their first name and the last two letters. That way, that, that way we can kind of. Can we get your submission form to emulate? Uh, if you'll go in and pull up this page right here, you can emulate it all day long. Uh, under, under content, business info and location. Uh, that's the form right there. Business name, phone number, fax number, Skype user. I don't use Skype username. I, that's not on there, but everything else is. And that's the form right there. What is what app URL? Oh, to this app right here. It's uh, getdigi.mobi forward slash Tony. I'll put that in there. But yeah, I just use I use the information that you got. I mean, that's this is what we put in there, and that's the information I use. No, that does not have the submission form on it. The submission form URL. Hey, if you got some apps you want built, please feel free to uh, please feel free to send me forty nine dollars, and I'll build them all day long. There's a submission form, okay? And if you want to duplicate it, you just go in and duplicate it. And if you want to send me $49, click on this button right here and uh, hit submit. Oops, hang on. I'll show you guys how this works real quick. Let me put some, let's see. I got to put an email in here. And I'll just put Carrie and uh, Moby, okay, and phone. All right, and I click the button, okay, and I won't build a card without payment. Click submit, and you can see it's rolling over to PayPal, to PayPal checkout. And they go in and they pay me through PayPal. And everything's done. And then when that happens, I get the submission form. I get payment information. Okay. This is the payment information that goes in. And then I get payment received from PayPal. 
Any questions on that at all? Now you can put your submission form on that app if you want to. I mean, that could be done very easily. Any questions? I may take you up on helping me with one app. It's a little trickier. I need to get it done pretty cute. It'll be a great service. Uh, okay, is it a full app, David, or is it a digital business card? Because if it's a full app, I don't charge $49. I charge $200. No, you set up the price on PayPal. My consulting fee is $250 an hour. And somebody asked me this the other day. Um, if I would fly out to where you're at. This, uh, this is how that works. First off, I need the hotel. Okay, I, I need a place to stay. Secondly, I don't fly. I drive. I'm afraid to fly. So all that's required is you pay for my fuel okay to come to where you're at and then what we will do is we will negotiate the price of what it cost me per day to stay with you uh, when I come out and do that uh, we can negotiate that price and I can come out for however you want me to however long you want me to stay but there is a there is a fee involved and uh, uh, but I, I do require a hotel and don't don't take this wrong but nothing below <laughs> Nothing below a four star. My favorite hotel is the La Quinta. If it's a, if it's one of the newer hotels, that's what I stay in all over the country, uh, simply because they got the nicest beds. <laughs> Kitty, I would charge you double, buddy. I would charge you double. You got to put me up in a four star just to drive up your driveway. <laughs> but if anybody would like me to come out and, and do personal training or anything like that. Uh, <laughs> put you at a Hilton, man. Yeah, put you. At, yeah, the Hilton would be great. But uh, yeah, I, I just like La Quinta because I love their beds, and I I'm uh, I just love it. But yeah, I would be more than happy to come out and visit with any of you at any time. Um, the hourly rate when I'm when I'm visiting you is is not. I mean that's that that would be ludicrous for me to do that, but I'm not expensive. I'm 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 kind of <laughs> I better not say what I was gonna say. Yeah, there you go. An RV's fine. As long as I got a place to stay, man, and a television and a computer, I'm I'm good. As long as it's a nice RV. What's what was that show with uh uh golly man, Chevy Chase and he was in the R V or his cousin was in the R V. Kenny says he's got a TV. A TP. <laughs> but uh no, you don't have to get, yeah, Robin Williams, there you go. Poor Robin Williams, man, it's a shame he, he, he lost, took his life like that. God bless him, man. I loved Robin Williams. He lived, I lived in Asheville, North Carolina for a long time, and Robin Williams lived not, but maybe, shoot, man, he didn't live a, two blocks from me. That's when they shot Patch Adams out there. He moved there. David says he has a barn and a lake. There you go. As long as you got Wi-Fi, brother, I'm good. Any more questions? And if you'd like me to come out, just email me and we can negotiate everything. I'd be more than happy to come out and spend time with anybody. Do not have a problem doing that. And a vehicle. I need if I, I drive my own vehicle, so I don't need a vehicle. Just pay the fuel. Don't even ask you to pay the oil. Just pay the fuel. There you go. Woke up in a new Bugatti. Because I always got that base. Got that base. <laughs> Not that treble. Uh. Yep, yep. Uh, the correct email is, and I will,
and I'll send it to everybody. No, I will not send you my phone number. I'll send you my phone number after we discuss it via email. How's that? <laughs> kind of important. Craigslist, absolutely. Absolutely. Any other questions real quick? It's about 9 o'clock, I think. Getting close to it. Guys, listen. Listen to me. Don't be afraid to hire independent sales reps. Do not be afraid. Okay? I ask am. What does that mean? I asked am. Not sure what your question is. I don't think your whole question came through. Oh, you asked another. Let's see. Uh, Randy Littlefield. Hang on just one second. Let me find. These, guys, these things fly by so quick, guys. Uh, can you hear my mouse clicking away here? Kenny Dutton just blew me up tonight. Sorry about that. I knew he would. I love Kenny. Kenny's a, 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 a great guy. Could you do me a favor, Randy? Could you repost that, man? Because I think it was so far back. I'm not going to be able to find it. If you could just repost that real quick, man, I, I'd appreciate it, Randy. I'm sorry I missed that. <clears throat> Blame it on Kenny Dutton, and, and I blame it on Chris, but he's already checked out. I had to go get his son. Second one in. Uh, was it the one, are there legal considerations when you must, uh, when you have someone sell on your behalf, must they be, must they be considered an employee? Is that it? Is that the question you're asking, Randy? That's the one I saw. It would be a whole lot easier, Randy, if you'd just type it in there, buddy, because, I, I mean, there's only like 5,000 things I've got to sort through right here. Oh, here you go. In your experience, have you found a commission per sale that makes the salesperson happy and been mutually beneficial? Do you incentivize with monthly commissions per sales as well? Um. Uh, 2.0 is live. 2.0 went live today. 2.0 is out of beta. Uh, Mark posted that in the group today. 2.0, you can go out and sell all the apps you want. And uh, feel free to do that. Um, yeah, and build more. Build more. Um, anyway, back to that question. Uh, yes, uh, you'll never make a sales rep happy with how much he makes. Um, what I do is I take the uh, the build fee and uh, the design fee, and they keep the other fee, and then on the end, uh, they get the $49 a year. And this is on digital business cards only, okay? I mean, I can't speak for all the others. The other is totally different. I'll give you a prime example. I had a restaurant contact me, and uh, or a sales rep contact me on a restaurant, and I told them right up front, my fee to even build, my fee. To even build the menu was $700. I wouldn't touch it for less than that. So, you know, they can go out and sell it for whatever they want. But right now, what we find on the digital business cards are flying off the shelf at $97. Bucks. And can, you build your own incentives in. I mean, if you want to give them, you know, if they sell 10 and you want to give them one full app or, you know, pay them instead of taking the design fee, you can do that however you want to do it. Independent sales reps will take as much money as you will possibly give them. Trust me. As much money as you'll give them. 50% is, nice, is a very nice commission, especially based on the fact they can go out and sell anywhere from 5 to 7 to 10 of these a day. If they'll go out and work 8 hours. Now, if they're not going to go out and work 8 hours, they're going to go out and work a couple hours, they're going to sell a couple a day. It's just the way it is. Yeah, never work for free. 
And you don't want to work for free. Hell, I ain't going to work for free. I can promise you that. I don't work for free. Okay? I'll take one more question here. It's about 8.57 on the East Coast. Or 9.57 on the East Coast. I'm, it's 8.57 in Texas. One more question. Anybody? Going once? <laughs> uh, Kenny, I'd love to live with you, dude. <laughs> Going twice? I'll have this ad finished tomorrow, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see the uh, the fireworks on it. Watch this. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. See the fireworks going off? Is that pretty cool or what? No, I don't have a submission page on the app, but you can do that. And, and it, it might make it easy for the sales rep. My sales reps just prefer to go home and, and sit down at night. Uh, they prefer selling and just getting the information quickly. Yeah, you can put that submission form on the app. Absolutely no problem. Just link to it, and they can fill it out right there on the spot. It's kind of small on a phone. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of small. So now, if they're using an iPad or something like that, oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. One more question. Do you have a form that the salesperson gives the customer for sign up? Yes. I do. Uh, that's what I use. I mean, you can use Monster. You can advertise really on any site. Craigslist is mine of choice for sales reps. It just works good. You can reach a huge audience and you can and literally drive it down. And 2.0 is custom backgrounds available. Yes, and you can upload your own background if you want. God bless you too, Tom. We're going to start some 2.0 training. I'm going to, I've got one more in the series for digital sales cards, uh, service cards next week. We'll finish that up, and then we're going to go into 2.0 training. I will literally go in, and we will, if we have to take it one button at a time each week, we will. Thank you, Chris. Thank everybody. Hey, listen, guys, everybody have a great night. And, ladies, I appreciate you coming on each and every week right here on our training. Hey, there you go, Gary. Go interview a rep. That's what we're talking about right there. See, Gary already got it going on, okay? Hey, thank you, BK, because I got to lock that base. Thank you, Kenny. Hey, you're always awe-inspiring. <laughs> Shock at all. <laughs> you guys are crazy, man. Hey, I love each and every one of you. Thank you for coming out on this beautiful Wednesday evening, and I will see you in the Facebook group. And I'll post this video as soon as I finish it in the morning. And uh, I think you guys will love it. Thank you, Orman. Appreciate you, buddy. You guys have a great evening. God bless. And I will see you in the Facebook group.